Welcome traders to another Ticknell Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 15th of November with me Patrick Munley. In the US on Monday we will get the November Fed Empire State Index. Last print was 19.8. We're looking for 20.1 uh, providing a timely update on the state of the New York manufacturing sector. On Tuesday, we will get October retail sales up to 1.1%, expected to lift as demand evens for both goods and services. We'll also get October industrial production looking for 0.8%, conditions likely volatile given the supply and the delta risks. We get September business inventories looking for 0.6%. Uh, should build as supply chains start to improve. We also get November NAHB housing market index looking for 80, stable at very high levels. And we'll also get Fed speak from Barkin, Bostich, George and Daly. On Wednesday, we get October housing starts looking for 1.3% expected to reverse some of the September losses. And we also get building permits 2.8% as a result of robust under Line demand. And again, more Fed speakers, Bowman, Mester, Waller, Daly, Evans and Bostick. On Thursday, we're looking for uh, initial jobless claims, 260,000, gradual downtrend continuing. We'll get the November Philly Fed Index, looking for a 22 print there. This offers a gauge of the very business conditions in the region. Uh, we'll also see prints from the November Kansas uh, City Fed Index. Record highs suggest positive manufacturing outlook for the region. And again, more Fed speak from Bostich, Evans and Daly. We round out the week on Friday with November GFK consumer sentiment. Fuel shortages probably hurt sentiment, but well above the 2020 lows for now. And then we finish uh, with Fed speakers Clarida uh, speaking on global monetary policy. We also have Waller too. So uh, pretty Busy slate next week in the US from a technical perspective. Dollar index broke through the resistance uh, reference at 94.60. We are now looking for any pullbacks to find demand in that area, looking for this final extension up in to test the projected ascending trend channel resistance towards the 96 handle. From there, I'll be watching as this area is going to likely to be a key decision point for markets. Uh, bearish reversal patterns here should at least see prices back down testing the projected ascending trend channel support to the 94 area. In the Eurozone, uh, we start the week on Monday with September's trade balance. Uh, the surplus is likely narrowed as, it, as has been the trend through 2021. On Tuesday, we get the headline event Q3 GDP looking for a 2.2% print, positive outlook with high vaccination rates and a supported monetary policy likely underpin growth there. In Wednesday, we get October CPI final, looking for a 0.8% print. Energy prices account for half of the overall inflation that we're currently seeing in Europe. And then uh, that wraps up the, uh, the data slate for, uh, for the Eurozone. So from a technical perspective, the Euro dollar has tested its pivotal 114, looking for any uh, pullbacks now to find resistance into the 115.30 for a final extension down to test the projected ascending trend line support uh, 113.70s. Watch for bullish reversal patterns there to engage on the long side. At least looking for a three wave corrective move to test trend line resistance coming in at 115.60. At this stage, a loss of that, uh, that trend line support through or close through 113.60 likely uh, will have us down testing towards 112.50. Japan, uh, we as we have a pretty uh, quiet week, although we do have two prints of note. On Monday, we get uh, Q3 GDP expected at minus 0.2% as economic activity has been hard hit by the Delta cases. We also get September industrial production, uh, no median estimate there, but again, supply chains, uh, supply chain disruptions uh, likely weigh on that. The last print was minus 5.4%, and I don't see that improving uh, anytime soon. And uh, the last print of note uh, for Japan next week is Friday's October CPI percentage year over year, looking for 0.1% uh, uh, set to remain subdued despite global inflationary pressures. So from a technical perspective, uh, Dolly Yang still carving out this corrective move. Ultimately, as uh, as we find support into the 112.50s, 
We are still looking for that final extension up into the 115.77 uh, um, minimum upside objective there versus our swing low at the 107.43. If we lose one, uh, 112.50, then we look for a test of projected trend line support, which comes back in in line with those prior highs towards 111.30. In the UK next week, we start the week with um, Monday's November right move house prices. Uh, last print was 1.8%. House price growth is approaching the 2020 peak of 6.6% now. Um, Tuesday, we get September ILO unemployment rate. Last print was 4.5%. We're looking for a 44 this week. Uh, economic recovery to gradually reduce the unemployment rate in the UK. Um, Wednesday, we get October CPI. Last print, 0.3%. Looking for a 0.8% as supply chain constraints and recovery of demand. Probably lift, uh, C lift the CPI print there. And we ran out the week on Friday with October retail sales. Demands for services weighing on the goods and retail sectors. So uh, last print was minus 0.2%, looking for something broadly in line with that. From a technical perspective, uh, Sterling is come just shy of testing the equality objective at 133.19. So I'm looking for pullbacks to find resistance into the 135 for that final extension down. From there, I'm watching for bullish reversal patterns to play for at least a three-way correction that takes us back up into... 136.40s area. And last but not least, in Australia, we start the week. Um, RBA Assistant Governor is speaking on the economy, uh, appearing before the Parliament uh, Tax and Revenue Committee on Monday. On Tuesday, we get the RBA minutes, get some colour around possible timing for initial RBA rate hike. We also have Governor Lowe speaking, uh, discussing recent trends in inflation. And then on Wednesday, we get uh, third quarter wage cost index, last print 0.4%, uh, looking for a 0.6%. Despite a robust labour market, wage gains uh, are likely to prove gradual. Um, and that rounds out the week from a data perspective. We do have on Thursday, actually, uh, RBA Assistant Governor Lucy Ellis speaking at the CDE, but not expected to, uh, to inform monetary policy in that discussion. From a technical perspective, in terms of the Aussie, a bit of a correction higher on Friday. Looking for uh, resistance to come in now around the 73.60 to 73.80 area for a test down then to test this uh, trend line support towards the 72.60. From there, we'll see if buyers are going to step back in and uh, get a run up, at least look for a test of the pivot here, 74.20 and then potentially onto the trend line resistance 7540s. At this stage, uh, really it would take a loss of this trend line support 7239 uh, to suggest that we're going to trade lower and we can think about a retest of the prior lows towards 7111. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 15th of November. As always traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.